Good morning. So today's core express workout is going to be 10 minutes. You can have some dumbbells if you want to. I've got my iPad here for your timer. So I've got the timer. And then you can also, if you don't have dumbbells, you can use a towel. And you don't even need any equipment. So please don't feel like you need to have something. But it can all be done just with your body weight. And again, I'm using that only because it keeps me in line with the screen and just makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so we're going to start in a standing position. I'm going to start the walk. So this counts down to 10 seconds. Most of these Tabata timers are free. We're going to start with a standing hop twist. So arms out, feet together, and I'm going to twist, 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 twist. There you go. You turn, you hop. And I want you to feel like you're a washcloth, bringing your middle out as your hips go side to side. But notice my upper body, it's not twisting with the whole thing. So I'm not swinging my arms. My arms are staying out to the side. It's just the knees from the hips and your feet that are going side to side. Keep your fingers with tension and right out to the side. Perfect. Okay, so with or without dumbbells, we're going to start my watch. And you can have one, two, or none. We're going to start with some side hands. So, hang on. And I just want you to bend. It's like you're trying to lift your rib cage away from your hips. All the dumbbells are doing are just a reminder of some resistance. But again, as long as you're focused on the group of muscles doing the work, you don't need to hold on to anything. My fingers are lightly touching my head. I'm keeping my hand right next to my legs to just slide right down. Try not to, a couple things that might happen is your elbow may fold forward. You want to keep your eyes looking straight ahead. So same thing on the other side. So eyes looking straight ahead. Try not to look down at the floor and twist. That whole elbow comes across the body. It's not what we're trying to focus on. We're just trying to focus on the obliques. I'm sliding my hand right down on my legs. But again, if you want to hold on to dumbbells, you absolutely can. My dumbbells are only four pounds. That's all I have down here in the yoga studio. So, and I'm sliding down the seam of my pants. So I'm lifting my rib cage up nice and tall. I'm keeping my feet flat into the floor. Pulling down. Elbow out to the side, eyes looking at the horizon. Standing position. Okay, with or without weights, we're going to do a dumbbell or just a hold. This is about stabilizing your abdominal muscles. I'll pick up the weight in just a second, but I want you to hold your hands so your fingers are going out. Get into a nice, tight position. And the bonus is you get to work your arms while you're here. So I'm pressing the palms of my hands together. The job of our core, one of the jobs, is not just to move us and help balance us, but also to stabilize. So it is very effective to work our core without having a whole lot of movement. It protects your spine, protects all of our organs, and this is totally effective if you just tighten the abdominal muscles, Press down into the floor, press your hands together. And again, that would be, you can also use a dumbbell going out and back. Okay, so a standing chop. One or two dumbbells, whichever one you want to do. We're going to start with one arm up. So I've got my bicep right in front of my nose. And if you lose sight of me, your arm is in the right spot. 
Just take that dumbbell right back up. Push and pull that knee up, cross body. You got that timer that's keeping you so you can focus on your form and don't worry about how many reps you're doing. Just pull it together, push it, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push. Good. Okay, again, bonus, remember? Our core is from our head to our toe. Everything has to be working in order to engage our core. So don't try to just focus what our core is in the center and what people try to get that six pack. Our core has such a bigger job. And when I have clients tell me they want to work on core strength, we work on everything. You cannot just take your core out of that full body work. Even if you're doing bicep curls, you are working your core because it is holding everything stable so you can focus on lifting up that weight. And yes, you get your arms and shoulders with this one. You do not have to use a weight. A towel, that's where you can use the towel here. Okay, perfect. So now, we're gonna be on the floor. And you're gonna hold on to one knee and drop the other leg out. So I do a slow push of the heel, looking at the ceiling. My shoulders are off the floor and I have tension in order to try to move as quietly through this as possible. I try to get my heel extended as far away from me as possible. Pushing it away. So as soon as my heel leaves, I have tension pushing that heel as far away from me as I possibly can. Good. All right. Next one is a dumbbell crunch. Again, you don't have to have anything. You can have a water bottle. I just happen to have my dumbbell. You're going to put your dumbbell on your shins or feet and then look at the ceiling and you're going to do crunches. So you can have shoes on for all of these. I'm in the yoga studio and we try to protect the floor so I've taken my shoes off. But you can have shoes on, it's totally fine. Or socks. I just have a rug that I wipe my feet off before I come in. And of course, I clean everything when I'm all done. Eyes are on the ceiling. What the dumbbell does is it just adds a little bit of extra to your lower abdominals as long as you leave your knees over your hips and you don't bring the hips in because of what happens. The dumbbell starts rolling towards you. Okay, so Superman to push up. I love these version of the push-ups. Here's what you're going to do. Start at the top. Lower as slowly as you can. Chest to the floor first. Lift everything off the floor. Push into the floor and coming back up. One thing you want to be careful of is you want to be careful you're not dropping your neck. Your chest hits the floor first. I'm going to turn so you can see me. Again, don't worry about how many you do but you can really be successful if you're someone who struggles with push-ups. These are a great alternative. Pushing into the floor, holding nice and tight, pushing those hands, lifting, squeezing, hands into the floor, pressing back up, nice and slow. Don't worry about counting those reps. Finish the rep. You're almost done. It finished, but let's get right back to the top, pushing in slowly. And back up. Good. Nice job. Here's your core workout for the day. Again, go through it as many times as you want to. Bye. Thanks.